very powerful gymnast. Amazing to see her still competing at such a high level. This vault will be a handspring tucked front somersault with a full twist. Wow, that was a great push from the horse. The value of this vault is 9.60. Let's take a look at the replay. Great push and great form. Look at the knees are together. Just to hop on the landing. She lands a good distance from the horse and in line 9.2 the score for that ball. As you mentioned, a 9.6 start value, which means the highest score that she can receive for that ball based on the difficulty value is a 9.6. All of the vaults since Sydney have been devalued in terms of their start value. Her second vault here. This is a simpler vault, actually the start value of this vault is only 9.5. This is a laid out Sukahara with a full twist. She lands a mile from the horse, which shows good power at 9.075. The score for that vault, 9.137 for Chusovitina. Oh, we're gonna love to see this vault. This is Yang Yuan, the 16 year old fifth place in the all-around at the Olympics in Sydney. I've watched her warm this up, Nadia. If it's anything like she warmed up, this is going to be spectacular. It's a handspring laid out front, which is not normally so unusual, but it's the way that she does it. Oh, wow, beautiful. Beautiful vault. I haven't seen anything like that yet. It really is difficult to do this vault with that kind of execution and technique. You often see the gymnast with bowed legs, bent knees. Look at how she thrusts her arms out to the side and holds that nice tight arch position. This is a 9.6 start value. Let's take a look at again of this vault. Legs are totally together. It's even artistic that the way she does this vault. That really was one of the single prettiest moves I've ever seen in gymnastics. 9.25 is all. Now it's a 9.6 start value, but I don't understand where those judges came up with deductions on that. Absolutely great technique. Well, Yang Yun, as I mentioned, was fifth in the all-around at the Olympics. She was also a medalist with the Chinese team, a bronze medalist on the bars as well. In fact, in the all-around, had she scored a little higher on the balance beam, she might have won the all-around gold only scored a 9287 there. All right, now, the second of the two vaults, these will be average. This should be a lower start value vault. This is a 9.5 start value vault. It's called a Phelps after the American gymnast JC Phelps who did this vault first. This vault used to be a 9.8 under the old code. This one is a little low in shorter rotation, so a 9-0 is a decent score for that vault. 9-1-2-5 for Yang Yun. When we come back, the final two vaulters, including the Olympic champion, Zamo. If you have arthritis pain, there's reason to celebrate. It's Celebrex. Celebrate, celebrate, come on and celebrate. Powerful 24-hour relief from osteoarthritis pain and stiffness. Celebrex, the first arthritis medicine that targets only the COX-2 enzyme. Celebrate, celebrate, come on and celebrate. Celebrex should not be taken if you've had aspirin-sensitive asthma or allergic reactions due to aspirin or other arthritis medicines or certain drugs called sulfonamides. In rare cases, serious stomach problems such as bleeding can occur without warning. Tell your doctor if you have kidney or liver problems. Celebrate, celebrate. Today's gymnastics is brought to you by Celebrex. Talk to your doctor about Celebrex. And just two vaulters remaining in today's finals. Next up, the Olympic champion on this event, Zamalo Chikova. Wow, it was a great vault, a little to the right side. It's a start value of 9.90. Well, she lands a mile from the horse. And as usual, she hardly ever stops bouncing. Right, it's really high, but look, she made a little 
deviation on the right side. Just on start values alone, she should win today's competition. This vault is a 9-9 start value. It was devalued from a 10 during the last four-year period. 9-5 her score. There are only a few vaults that are rated from a 10-0 start value. She's going to go for one here. A Yurchenko two-and-a-half twister. Wow, she made it. This is a great vault. It was first performed by the Romanian gymnast Simona Amunar. Let's take a look at what she does. She does a round off onto the board, back handspring onto the horse, and then she's going to do a layout with two-and-a-half twists. It's tough to spot that landing, a little shorter rotation, but right in line. So from a 10-0 start value, that gets a 9.55. Her average 9.525. And the other gymnasts certainly admire her for being able to go for such a difficult ball. All right, this is Jana Kamerskova, the final performer of the meet, the 18-year-old from the Czech Republic. She's an extremely powerful vaulter at five feet, five inches tall. She's quite an athlete. Wow. Nice finish. This is the vault that was made popular by Lilia Potkopayeva from Ukraine. It's a half into the horse, front bike with a half twist, really on line. Great height and good body position. Great landing on that vault, a 9-7 start value for that. She knows how to really drill those landings into the floor. 9-2-5 the score. A couple of slight form errors. This second vault will be from a 9-6 start value. And again, <laughs> she's great at those landings. This is a front end bike with a half twist. Slight form break on the pre-flight, so her score only a 9.15. Her average of 9.2 will place her in second behind the dominant Yelena Zamalochikova and Yang Yung from China placed fourth. Well, it was a great day of gymnastics here at the Palais Omnisport de Bercy. The 2001 French International is over. A look at some new inspiring stars like Verona Vandelour and some familiar faces from China, Russia, and Uzbekistan. For Nadia Komenich, I'm Bart Connor. Thanks for watching Gymnastics on Fox Sports Net. And it took her even less time to discover her position in this sport of diminutive powerhouses as number one.